Everybody, it's your boy Heaven Hollywood back on the IE Network, and this is the Heaven Hollywood Report, and let's get to it. Are y'all ready yet for these NBA young boy conversations? Let me know. Are you ready yet to have that NBA young boy conversation? It's going to upset a lot of people. It will probably go over a lot of y'all's heads. So I know a lot of you are not ready for that smoke. We'll start off with Cardi B and Tasha K. So the medical records that Tasha K requested, they have come back. And it seems as though that Cardi B does not have either the herpes, um, the herpes virus, or does she have HPV? So that means that Tasha K did all that requesting, all that stalling, and it still came back negative. Um, here's the deal. So I think she probably wanted it requested, so just in case uh, it did come back negative, at least she would be able to let people know in the out there, you know, what did come back. But here is the problem. Um, unless Cardi B agrees to it, then Tasha K will never see those records. Okay, the judge looked over it. It had been determined that these medical records do not help the defendant who is Tasha K. So it turns out as though it looks as though Cardi is set up to win this case. I don't see how she does not win it. And, of course, Tasha K is probably saying, like she was saying before, oh, who, who cares about some little BS 75000 let, 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 Let's be perfectly clear. Yes, you may be getting money, Tasha K, but don't act like seventy five k is not going to hurt. You're not a millionaire. I don't care how much money you've made. You're not a millionaire as of right now. You may have seen more than a million dollars come to your hands, but you're not a millionaire. So trust me, that seventy-five thousand, where in where money where you could have kept that seventy-five k, if you had never started this in the first place. So please, let's not act like that's not a great deal of money for someone who you know that may not be a big deal of money for Cardi B. That may not be a big deal of money for Nicki Minaj. That may not be a big big deal of money for Beyonce. But for Tasha K, it is. So let's just stop it. So Cardi looks like she's going to win the case. Tasha K will have to give up the 75K plus all the money she made off of Cardi B videos. Let's get on to NBA Youngboy. And, and you're looking at. Right there in front of him, NBA Young Boy, supposed to be the realest N word alive, the most streetest trap, trap rapper, uh, street trap rapper that there is walking around. And look what happens. Another rapper that gets locked up, comes home not looking like himself, okay? Not acting like himself. He's now got the makeup on, talking about. He feels as though he's a rock star. That's why they, they're just trying to set up a a uh, reason so everyone doesn't say, oh, oh, I mean, what what happened to young boy? This way, especially his fans, his enablers, his 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 uh, protective fans will say, oh, he's just, that's himself. That's how he is when he's not in front of the camera. No. They're trying to simply emasculate black men, continue that uh narrative and on top of that that is the signs of MK Ultra. look at him I've never heard young boy ever say anything about wanting to be a rap wanting to be a rock star never so are you ready to have that conversation let me tell you what's happening with these rappers if you notice Kodak Black went to jail Came home. Look how he looked. If you notice Gucci Mane. 
went to jail. Another street, uh, street trap rapper, just like Kodak Black. Gucci Mane went to jail, came back a hundred pounds lighter, tattoos off. He wasn't even talking the same. Now he's talking like he's a professor. Not being ghetto and all this stuff happens once they get locked up. Kodak Black, same thing, same type of rapper. They get locked up and then all of a sudden they come back and they're not acting the same or looking the same. Why is that? It's not a coincidence. I say to you again, cross-reference, go back to B.O.B. song, Bend Over. He explains replacements and clones in the rap game. Now you talk about somebody who was in the game. Why would he risk his career? He no longer really has a record deal now because of things he said. Why would he risk his career if he's just making it up? You people have to start using your heads. Look at this dude. Came back. Some of his tattoos were missing. This guy came back looking like NBA Young Amigo. Came back looking like a, a Dominican. <laughs> this is what they do to these rappers. They replace rappers. I, you know, I'm sorry if it's traumatizing. I'm sorry if you don't believe it. That's why they do it because they know you're not going to believe it. I don't believe that's Kodak, the real Kodak Black. And when I say that, I don't believe it's them. I believe they have not been cloned. I believe they've been replaced. DNA replacement. I believe they've been replaced and they're not the same, not the same rapper. And now, now, um, NBA Youngboy could just be MK ultra up, you know, pretty much under this demonic hypnotism that they use on celebrities' mind control in the industry. Look at him. What does that have? Does that look like the, the, the illest trap rapper, the, the illest street cat? Let's not forget when he said, oh, he, he's just being himself. Let us not forget that there was a rumor that NBA young boy was swinging from both sides of the plate. If you don't recall, there was a, a rumor a couple of years ago, some groupie said she had a threesome with NBA young boy and another male. And she said he seemed more into the man than he was into me. Now, this post was up. I'm trying to locate the post. This post was up for a while. So what's going on with NBA Youngboy? Is he really telling the truth? Is he really being himself? Does he want to walk around with makeup on? Look at him. Things you need to talk about, man. B.O.B. said, you want to live large? You know, uh, he said, you want to live large mansions? He said, you know, I can do that for you, but you have to agree to get copied at the cloning center. So that way, if you ever stop, can stop, um, if you ever stop going along with what they say, just zap you and put someone else in your spot. That's going to listen. Sounds crazy. Sounds far-fetched. But so does the devil. The devil was crazy and far-fetched. You think he is this? You better bet he is this. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood. For the Heaven Hollywood Podcast.